in 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. Every, for a five year period, every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just can we take some of this step and fetch it. Now we all know that Cat Williams has been exposing all the dirty laundry of Hollywood and one of the celebs that Cat has had something to spill about is Kevin Hart. This came after Kevin blasted Cat a few years ago for allowing his addiction to ruin his career by blaming everybody but himself for his failures well. It looks like Kat is finally ready to clap back from those allegations because he just did an explosive tell-all interview with Shannon Sharp where he accused Kevin of selling his soul. An integrity for fame and claim, Kevin was even made to do the humiliation ritual by cosplaying as a gay man now. This ain't the first time Kat has dragged Kevin for being power-hungry and selling his soul to get to where he is today, but this time, oh, he didn't hold nothing back and flat-out exposed all the sick and twisted things that Kevin has done over the years to get fame and power. Oh, but now Kevin is sick and tired of Kat coming after him all the time, and he's flapping back in the most savage. You way possible planning to sue him for defamation. I mean, see, H 2024 just started, and it looks like it's already going to be a real long year for Kevin cause Kat read him for filth in that interview. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Now, in case you somehow missed out on all the drama these past couple of days, Cat Williams pretty much set the whole internet on fire during a three hour long interview with Shannon sharp when this interview was initially announced a lot of people thought cat was just going to be his usual goofy self and probably spend the whole time cracking jokes but baby did he do the complete opposite it he exposed the entire industry's dirty laundry and it got a lot of people scrambling to respond to him home. weaver what really got folks attention was when cat called kevin out for being power hungry and baby this had people gauged because this ain't the first time Cat has shamed Kevin for selling his soul for fame. In fact, he first called him out a couple years ago when he blasted Kevin for pretending to be gay in an SNL skit see back in the early 2000s. There was a lot of talk about black men being forced to wear dresses and wigs as a part of some rite of passage to make it in Hollywood Dave Chappell for Wooled these rumors during an interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2006 where he spilled the tea about the time the producers of a movie he was doing with Martin Lawrence tried to get him to wear a dress against his will. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know, but certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down, like, why are all these brothers going to wear a dress? This happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. It's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on. And it, huh? What? The prostitute? Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. That, that should have been in a discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We we're supposed to shoot. Every, every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Berle? Ba, 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 ba. You know, we're going like this. And then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves. And then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. But this is where things get even more interesting because Dave said the producers had another script ready just in case they weren't successful in getting him to put the dress on and cosplay as a woman. But the minute it was clear, I was adamant, I'm not wearing a dress, I'm not wearing the dress. All right, fine. Think of something else. 
That comes back 10 minutes later. The whole new scene, how, damn, how did you write the scene so fast? And this interview really had people shook at the time and other celebrities started to get asked what their thoughts were on Dave's comments during the interview. And of course, one of those celebrities was Kevin Hart. Kev haven't initially tried to laugh it off, but still made it crystal clear that he would never let go of his morals to put a dress on. Another great comedian said that, you know, in the industry, they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with, with scripts? <laughs> and, and is that something that, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, for? for uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you have to have... You have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they are. Uh, they've yet to be challenged, so you know, I don't have to speak on them. I was asked to dribble a basketball on the talk show this morning. Like, you look said good no doing that. it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> a, not that that was a dress, but I was like, no, I'm gonna look stupid. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta know that you're a brand. I'm yeah. a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When things happen that can possibly affect your brand. Your your brand can be diminished, and and you don't you don't want that to happen. So you know, protecting my brand is is definitely a priority. Not too long after this interview, Kevin shamelessly popped out in an SNL skit wearing a dress and a wig. Now there's a real high chance he was never against wearing that dress in the first place, and that this was probably within his limits. But a lot of people felt like he did it to please them. Higher ups in the industry cues he wanted more fame and power now Kevin ain't no struggling actor or nothing like that he was doing pretty good for himself. But after after this SNL skit his career jumped to a whole new level and he was being put in even bigger movies however the backlash he was receiving from his fans got so bad that he had to jump to Twitter to shut everybody up he said I wore a dress on SNL because I thought it was funny I made that decision nobody made it for me. I am my own boss. Cat was later asked what his thoughts were on Kevin wearing a dress, and he said it wasn't Kevin's fault that he wore the dress because he was just a part of a long lineage of black men being made to wear a dress in order to transition to that next level of fame. Kevin was just doing what he needed to do to make it in Hollywood. Um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking old poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. But see, there's been a theory going around for a while now that Kevin is just an industry plant who was pushed into the industry to replace Kat. These rumors got even worse after the whole CNL skit. Because while Kevin's success in Hollywood was going through the roof, the media started to slander. Kat's reputation with Al Asians of him being an addict, which he later addressed in an explosive rant back in 2016. But see... There's been a theory going around for a while now that Kevin is just an industry plant who was pushed into the industry to replace Kat. These rumors got even worse after the whole CNL skit. Because while Kevin's success in Hollywood was going through the roof, the media started to slander. Kat's reputation with Al Asians of him being an addict, which he later addressed in an explosive rant back in 2016. 